Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm gonna do a video tutorial on um, kind of making some MySpace layouts, uh, MySpace, YouTube, UStream, things like that. All right, so this particular template I'm using is one I made, and uh, it 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 kind of fits in with, with, like I said, YouTube, UStream, MySpace, and Ning. Alright, so those are like the four websites that I've tested out and used these layouts, these this template that I made, this preset. Alright, so hop into Photoshop. Uh, you might have seen this layout on my Ustream if you're on my Ustream channel and you follow me there. Uh, my YouTube, MySpace, and uh, my Ning, of course. So I'm going to have this up for download so you guys can use this exact template. It won't have my text right there it won't have my logo or anything it'll just be a blank template just like that it might just take everything out except the blue so um you don't have to do anything else just download the template after i upload it somewhere i'll put the link in the video description and i'll also have more information on my website and also post some twitter updates about this anyway um so you know valentine's day is coming up so i figured i'd make a fairly similar layout to that you know season or upcoming event so I'm just gonna go into here and kind of edit the layers layer styles that I made and what I'm gonna do is just kind of zoom in real quick I'm just gonna change my gradient overlay to something red so let me see I have this blue I'm just gonna edit it and change it to red it's like a nice red and it's like a live preview so you can see if the color red is too big I mean not too big too bright or too dark so something like that that one looks good for me and I'm just gonna press ok on that and what you can do is um, press ok go into your layers copy that layer style right click copy layer style and at the top I'm just gonna name this rename this to let's say inner layout so that's just like the, the body of it let me just change that body layout and uh, I could call this the sides alright and for the sides I'm just gonna right click and paste layer style oops don't want to do that I just remembered I have a certain layer style within there so certain options I don't want to change like the stroke for for example and the inner shadow so what I'm gonna do is simply select that gradient again that blue one change it to red go all the way up to red there's a second option right there press ok <coughs> Now it doesn't have to be all red like that. It, you can change that up if you want. It could be black. It could be like a low density black like that. Press OK. So it could be really cool looking like that. Right now I'm gonna take out the, uh, the mic's designs. No, I'll probably leave that. I'm not gonna take away my logo and everything. And what I'm gonna do is go up to file place and what I'm gonna do is look for a certain pictures that I downloaded go search for it real quick alright so I saved a copy of this picture of a rose so I'm gonna take that and press place what it's gonna do is just place it as a um, small object like that you can just place it anywhere for right now and press on enter I'm gonna go back up to um, file place you don't have to do it this way, you just go file open and browse for it but then you gotta drag and drop and stuff this way it'll just go straight into your document and I'm just gonna select this rose right here press place and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move it over to the side right here I'm just gonna zoom out just a little bit and kinda position it where I want it to like that, press enter press ctrl J on that to make a copy of that rose that I just placed over there go up to edit transform 
I'm just gonna flip it horizontal, so it's gonna be like the reverse. Click on it once, then hold shift, then bring it over to the side. So just like that. I'm just gonna bring up my guides by pressing control and hit that quotation key right next to the left, the enter. Now if you're in CS4, you don't have to really do a lot, just go up to um, this uh, view extras menu right here and just select grids. So you can select and change it, or you can do guides, the way the guides is, like that. Alright, so um, what you can do is kind of make sure it's all lined up. And uh, what I'm going to do is just, it don't have to be perfect. Um, so yeah, that's that. And uh, let me see. I'm just gonna rasterize those two roses. Just go rasterize layers. All right. So next, what I'm gonna do is kind of overlay it, so it kind of blends in with the background. So you go to a, a whole bunch of these options here. You go to screen. Screen is a good way to get a good overlay of it. Or you could just go straight up overlay. And then change the, the um, take out the black if you don't want it like that. I'm just gonna undo because I think screen was perfect. And I'm um, gonna do the same thing for the second copy layer of it. And uh, what you can do is take your eraser tool and make sure your hardness is at zero, your master diameter is something pretty big. And what we're gonna do is just go right around the edges like that. Just like that, we're gonna select select the other rows layer and do that exact same thing. So we kind of get like a good opacity um, fade down there. So it's pretty cool. It looks realistic. Everything like that. And if anything, if some is poking out into the body layer of it, what you could do is right click. I mean, not right click. Control click on the thumbnail of the body layer like that, and you get a selection. Select either one of the roses that you made or any other picture you made that could be out of um you know crossing borders with the the uh the rose layer or any other document and just press backspace and select the other rose layer and hit backspace as well what it's gonna do it may not look like anything but it's it's um it may be behind the body layer but either way it's still um crossing in between anyway that's just that. Now we're going to work on this rose right here, the body rose. So I'm just control T to, um, to resize. I'm just going to expand it. Just place it at the top. Or just pretty much in between. Like that. And it looks a little wide and everything, but that's going to change. Select lighten. Let's see, you can always change it. Let me see, lighten, soft light. Like I said, you can just experiment with this. Uh, you know what, I might just do hard light, because it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna drop the opacity just a little bit. So about maybe 80. All right, select my eraser tool. And uh, rasterize that rose. So I can be able to erase it. Let's go around the edges like that, and a little at the top. You don't have to worry about the sides because we're gonna deal with that in a few minutes. And uh, next, what we're gonna do? Is control click on that body thumbnail, select your rows for the body, and what we're gonna do is differently from what we did with the other roses. We're gonna go control shift I to inverse and then hit backspace. What that does is takes everything out from the the sides and everything. Now I control D to deselect and there's our cool rose layout right there. Alright so you can go ahead and save it so control shift save or control shift S to save or just go file save as you want to make sure you save it as a PSD so you can always go back and edit it. So I'm going to call it Valentine's Day uh, Layout. I say layout because it goes, I don't want to put MySpace layout or Ning layout. 
it's just pretty much a layout because it goes with the first four um, websites that I mentioned earlier. So save it as PSD and save it, press OK. And uh, for Ning, you want to make sure that the body layout, well not really, I'll, I'll get it.